Hello friends, what is PA stain with diastase? How does diastase work and why do we need PA stain with diastase? All these questions we will cover in this lecture. So what is the purpose of PA with diastase? It is mainly to demonstrate or recognize glycogen in the tissue section. What is the principle? In the principle, we will understand that how PAS and diastase work together to demonstrate the glycosin. So, what is diastase? Diastase is an enzyme or it is also called alpha amylase. This enzyme breaks the glycosin into the smaller sugars. They will wash out from the tissue section. So, when we will do PA stain, which we have already discussed in the previous lecture, it will not stain the glycogen because glycogen is not there. Now the question arises, if we use diastase, then why we use the PA stain? In this, what happened? We will use two sections. One section we will stain directly with the PA stain and other section we will stain with the diastase with PA stain. And then we will compare these both. If glycogen is present, the sun which is stained with the PA stain will stain the glycogen. But in other section where the diastase is added, in that glycogen will not be stained. Now we understand the principle. In the principle, first we will use the diastase or amylase which will break the glycogen into the smaller sugars. These smaller sugars will wash out. After that, we will use the PA stain. PA stain principle you know already. Pyruvic acid, the sugars into aldehydes and these aldehydes bind with the SIPS reagent and give the magenta color. Next, we will use here the metabisulfide. The metabisulfide mainly remove the excess SIPS reagent from the tissue section. The fixative techniques and equipment are the same as per the PA stain. For the quality control or as a control, we will use the tissue sections. Mainly here we will the two tissue sections, either from the liver or from the cervix. Reagent from the PA stain you already know. All reagents from the PA stain will be used. And here we will add the diastase solution or human saliva. In human saliva, there is alpha amylase or beta amylase. Both enzymes are present. For the revision, other reagents will be pyruvic acid 0.5 solution, iron hydrochloric acid, potassium metabisulfide and SIPS reason. All these reasons how it will get prepared we have already discussed in the PA stain. Now let's discuss the procedure. We will deparaffinize and hydrate two slices to the distal water and label them as a with or without diastase. Then the section which is labeled with diastase we will place it into the diastase solution for 5 to 10 minutes or if diastase solution is not there then the human saliva can be used to put on the slide for at least 15 to 20 minutes. Why we use the diastase or human saliva? Mainly to break down the glycogen into the simple sugar. Next step is wash into the running tap water for the 5 minutes. While we are washing it, after the glycogen is broken down during this step, all the smaller sugars like glucose they will wash out from the tissue section. Then in the next stage, both sections which is put into the diastase solution or which is not into the diastase solution. In that both, we will put the pyruvic acid solution for the 5 minute. What will happen here? Here the aldehyde groups will get exposed. After that, we will wash it into the distilled water with the 3 changes. In the next, we will put the SIPS reagent for 15 minutes. What will happen here according to the principle, the SIPS reason will bind with the aldehyde exposed group which is done by the pyruvic acid solution. So in the next step, we will wash for the one minute with metabisulfide. What the metabisulfide do? The metabisulfide, it will remove the excess SIPS reagent from the section. In next step, after the potassium metabisulfide solution, we will wash in the running tap water for the 10 minutes to develop the color. After this, we will do the counter stain and counter stain will be done by the Harris hematoxylin with acid for the half minute. And what the Harris hematoxylin will do, it will stain the nuclei. Then we will wash the section 
and in last we will dehydrate clear with the xylene and mount now our slide is ready when you will put the slide under the microscope and see it how does it look just check this slide the first pic where you can see the magenta color and a blue nucleus in the center this magenta color shows ki there is glycogen is present but in other section where the diastase is used with the ph10 there is no magenta color that means this glycogen has been washed out it confirm this magenta color is due to the glycogen only this is how we confirm the glycogen is present in the given section or not this is another two sections where first is stain with the ph10 where you can see the magenta color stain cells and in center there is nuclei but where we use diastase with ph10 here the glycogen has been broken down and during the procedure all the smaller sugar has been washed out and after that when we stain with the ph10 this glycogen was not stained so it confirm that glycogen is there so this is how we use the diastase with ph10 and compare so i hope you have understand the principle and the procedure of ph10 and diastase with ph10 if you like this video please like it share it and subscribe the channel